Hi people, this is Angel from PRDV Entertainment. Welcome to another Blender tutorial. This is tutorial number 13. So now, let's start with the tutorial. The tutorial will be about the objects that will use uh, physics, like cloth. So you can use uh, maybe a plane as a flag, and another couple of things, or other objects that you may want to change on your project. That you can use them with wind, so it can move around, or maybe a cape or something for a superhero or something like that. So the start, let's delete the cube. Let's create a plane that we will use as a floor. I'm going to scale this. Now I'm going to the materials here for a moment. And now I'm going to insert a material. I'm going to create one. And I'm going to choose a color here. It's going to be dark color. There we go. Intensity for the specular is going to be 1 and the hardness is going to be 10. There we go. So now we need to go to the physics here so we can choose collision. So when the flag goes down or the cape, whatever you create, goes down, just drops into the floor. Uh, in other ways, into this plane. So now let's create another plane here. That's going to be the one that we will use with the cloth. Let's scale it. I'm gonna uh, a little bit. I'm gonna rotate this one for 40 degrees only. I'm gonna insert a color to it. It's gonna be red. Yeah, red is good. Okay. So for the intensity of this one, it's gonna be one, two. It's gonna be ten for the hardness. There we go. So now uh, <clears throat> we need to sort of divide the plane so I can have couple of parts, different parts, dividing all plane. So we're going to the edit mode, present tab, and on your left properties here, we're going to choose subdivide. It's right here. One, two, three. Only three times only. So now let's get out from the edit mode, present tab, and now let's go to our modifiers. Let's add a new modifier to this plane here. It's going to be a subdivision surface, so it can look smoother way much better and now let's go to our physics and let's choose cloth now uh, for this plane on the floor let's choose collision on the physics oh okay we have it already bye bye so now let's hit the play so we can see what happened there you go as you can see it's not mo it's smooth enough so we have to work with that and we need to choose our plane and for the physics, for the physics, uh, close, close. modifiers on the view on the sub subdivisions, we need to choose at least two. And let's move this one from here on the left panel, also like three times, maybe. Now let's hit the play. There we go. Now that looks way much better. Now I want to add, uh, I don't know, maybe a vortex. See if it goes up or something, or maybe moves around a little bit. So I'm going to choose the force field, and I'm going to choose a vortex. And I'm going to scale this one a little bit. And for the strength, I'm going to put uh, let's put three. Three. Let's try with three only. There we go. Let's hit the play. And there you go. So that is part of the animation that it was supposed to do. So you can maybe create a flag and start moving around with a two one and something like that. Uh, let's put five on the screen. I think that's too much uh, strength for it. I'm gonna put two only. And it's not that good, so I'm gonna insert three again. Now that's way much better. So I think uh, that will cover all um, the tutorial for. This one about the cloth on tutorial number 13, Blender. 
This is Angel from PRDB Entertainment. If you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and write a comment. Bye-bye.